I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. Well, for once, I'll say I'm thankful my tournament's over, but for this guy, Steve Rico, PDGA 4666, sitting in tied for fifth place. Yep. That's not so bad. I know we talked about it earlier in the week. You're always a contender here at Worlds. Uh, what's what's going to shake out tomorrow during the prelims for the uh, semifinals? Well, tomorrow, I kind of just got to, you know, leave it all out there. I got to attack some holes. I got to play aggressive and, um, you know, make some putts and just, you know, hopefully have a good round to get me into the final four. The final four. How many times have you been there at the in the Worlds before? Do you know? Uh, I think five times before. Five times. and. Yeah. We got to send a quick shout out. We, we, I think we're both missing your boy, Josh Anthon. <laughs> Dougie, where's he at? Why is he not here? Everybody wants to know. Uh, I don't know. He's out uh, making money, doing things, uh, I guess, the right way. You know? yeah. <laughs> Nobody's getting rich in disc golf, so he's, right? yeah. he's doing things the way he needs to get things he's, done back in Cali. He's getting, he's getting his priorities straight first, and he'll be out next year, I'm sure, tearing it up and uh, being up there in the top in all the tournaments. I think what three, four years in a row. Three years in a row, finishing second, including here in Indiana. Three second places in a row for Dougie. All right. Well, um, so everybody's enjoying the player party. We're showing some footage of that. We got Ken Climo and others freestyling. There's tons of stuff going on. Is that part of what makes World so special besides stellar play? Uh, absolutely. You know, I think it's you know it's good that uh, all the camaraderie with all the the pros out here, and you know, get to see how everybody is off the course, not so serious, and having a good time and being relaxed. You know, on the course it's one thing, but off the course, everybody's you no know, just regular guys out there. All right. Well, as if you don't have enough going on as being one of the top players in the world, how are things going over at Legacy? Give everyone an update. We seem to check in with you every few months. Um, Legacy's doing well. Um, I got three molds coming as soon as I get back to Cali after this tournament's over I'll be back there and I'll have like three molds coming out the new pinnacle ghost will be out so there's a lot of stuff happening for legacy discs um, make sure you just keep up check out what's what's new we're always putting out some new products so things are moving well that's awesome and we're hearing some uh, DJ action in the background so we're gonna wrap it up but we do have to thank Steve and legacy big supporters of the disc golf guy they're doing great things out there in California uh, maybe we can get our way uh, back out to California and visit you guys uh, in the next uh, off season or two. Absolutely, come out there. You're always welcome. All right, this is Steve Rico sitting in fifth place, going into the semifinals on Saturday, and in just a minute we'll catch up with David Wiggins, one of our superstars here at Worlds as well. Best of luck to you, Steve. Thank you. All right, we'll catch up with you guys later. As promised, we're back. I'm joined by David Wiggins, who is the current world record holder for distance, throwing at 800 and 36 feet with a lizard boss pretty darn impressive david you are here at the world championships in indiana and you've done something probably unprecedented unprecedented which is you swept all the field events that's what i hear <laughs> that's what you hear <laughs> uh, it must be a good rumor then so you've won the putting competition in a playoff over kenny glassman you took down the edge competition which is a whole set of skills mm -hmm. you won the distance competition how far did you throw there 558. Okay, 558. Or 568, one of the two. And, and the, was there a qualifier? Or, or Just finals? five throws. Five throws. Yeah, we had a cross head win, so I mean, it wasn't perfect conditions. It was not perfect. And then last but not least, you also won mini golf? Yeah, to top it off. What'd you shoot in mini golf? 48. Who was the next closest competitor, do you know? I think Brinster shot a 51. Okay, so you crushed mini golf. And now more... Um, well, let's put it this way. You're going to win hundreds of dollars, maybe upwards of five or six hundred dollars in, in side games. I hope so. I think it's somewhere <laughs> up there, like four or five hundred. So that'll be a nice bonus on top of whatever I cash with tomorrow. So All right. It's a so big plus. how are you doing overall in the competition? I, I once heard Ken Climo refer to the field events as reindeer games. Yeah. He doesn't take them as serious as you were. Um, how are you looking in the overall competition? I wish I was doing as well as I was in field events, let's just say that. I'm, right. I'm sitting in 25th right now, I think, so Okay. I'm shooting just above my rating. Wish it was going a little bit better, but I'm not too disappointed. And all of this, all these uh, accomplishments and everything, and world distance holder at what age? Um, I set the overall world distance record when I was 16. 16, so you're doing all right, we'll say. And then on top of it, as we talked with Steve Rico, everyone's enjoying the players' party, and you're getting in on the vo volleyball. Is there anything you don't enjoy competing at? I don't know. Not, nothing I've found yet. <laughs> All right. Well, this is your world record holder, David Wiggins of Team Innova. Uh, shooting well here at Worlds. 25th might not seem perfect to you, but it's pretty darn good. And uh, he's doing great things this week. 
Awesome. Thanks, Terry. Absolutely. Congrats on the uh, whole slew of field events, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you go out there and uh, creep up a few more spots tomorrow. Yeah, I hope so. All right. David Wiggins, the disc golf guy, and we'll catch you guys during the finals. Face-to-face, -face, McBeast and Hole 5 guy. Where do things stand? Hole 5 guy, where do things stand? I think I'm down about 75 strokes for the tournament so far. But Paul's still got to play another 27 holes, so I think I, I still think I have a chance. You do. So you were down 36 after 54 holes. Now you're down 75. Ish. McBeast, how are you going to go after him tomorrow? How are you going to top that score? Um, I think I might be watching him stand on the sidelines, and uh, he might be rooting against me out there. All right. Well, the world title is coming to one of you. We'll find out tomorrow.